What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fishing video. I'm currently at a neighborhood pond that I've never been at before. And we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. All right guys, so I'm gonna start out with some top water cause I'm seeing a lot of like gunk on the top, a lot of algae buildup. Bass would like to sit under this. So I'm gonna try some top water on top of it and maybe we can get a bite. Oh, <gasps> something just hit it. Oh, bruh. Something hit that, right? Did you see another pop? So they're gonna hit the pop and perch. Damn, I really wish I didn't miss that first one. Oh, something's on it. Bruh. <laughs> Something was on it. You're in the uh, splash zone, as they like to say. Hit that shit. It's on it. Did it take it? Nope, it's back up. God, it looked like something took it again. Maybe I need my glasses. <laughs> I'm blind back here. That's a good cast. As long as I can get some footing down here. No! Bruh. I missed it again. You saw that. You saw that, right? That was crazy. We almost got another right there. Look at our tail. The Poppin' Burgess tail is just getting destroyed. But a good sign that you should be doing top water when it's hot out, like it's June. Oh, I just got hit again. No, I didn't, thought I did. But if you see stuff like this in a place you're fishing, you should do top water on it. Oh, there's another hit. They're hitting it over and over. You're seeing that, right? That's the second, oh, he hit it again. Take it this time. Oh, lost it again. That's, that sucks that we're losing the fish, but the fact that we're even, you know, getting those hits, it's a good sign. We're doing the right thing. Let it sit for a sec. <gasps> There's another one. Let it sit and take it for a sec. I don't think he has it. Bruh. He doesn't have it. Bruh. Look, there's a turtle right there. Look at his back too, he's got all that moss blends in so well he saw us so he's like nope under the tree we didn't get anything under the tree it just sucks because the bites are there I'm just missing them you know dude Bruh. <sighs> I'm over 10 <laughs> It's straight up like 10 bass now. I'm striking out like crazy. At least we know it's working. Fish on finally. Dude, finally. It's a, it's a good one. Finally, we got one. Got him in the tongue. Damn, he's kind of bleeding. Got him in the tongue. We got him though. First one, fish on. And you can tell he's been sitting in shade because how dark he is. That's usually what happens, I believe. But nice bass. Fish on. Oh, he is dripping. I'm telling you, he's fine though. He literally got hooked right in the tongue. He is bleeding though. We're gonna put him back. We got his tongue, so there's some blood coming out. <laughs> Good first bass. All right. We got one. Huh? You have fish blood on your leg. <laughs> I feel bad. Bruh. I don't know if I said this yet, but forgot my GoPro mount, so. Video's gonna be in third person today. <laughs> Let's go again. Same spot we just caught that bass. 
So I'm like one for 12 on this. I'm just having a really bad day at landing the fish. But I mean, the bait's 100% working. If you don't suck like me, you'd have a lot more catches. All right, next cast. Let's go. There's two. This one's smaller. There's another then. Whoa. I don't want you to hook me, brother. Chill. Chill. I don't trust that you're not going to jump again. Boom. Done. Number two. Smaller than the first, he's definitely about to chill, chill. Look at him, he's, he's getting ready to give me a big one. See him flapping? <laughs> I thought he was gonna try to flap really hard. Fish on though, another one. Hey, chill. Gonna release him, nice soft release. There he goes. Again, this is all on the pop and perch. And the reason I decided to do this at this pond is because of all this gunk. All this gunk is where bass are gonna sit in like underneath it or right next to it. This is all their beds and their hiding spots. A little top water action. You'll get a bunch of catches, bunch of bites. Let's try casting over the branch right here. Holy shit, this thing does not want to cooperate today. Oh my God. That was very dumb. <gasps> right where I threw it down, I got hit. <laughs> that was insane. Right where I threw it down, I just got hit. I was just talking about the log. <laughs> Casted right next to it and I got hit. Oh, he's off of it. There you go, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Open your mouth. There you go. I got him. <laughs> Let's go, another one. Very similar size to the one we just got. I think a little bit bigger, but another fish on. Let's go. Let's put him back again. There you go, buddy. Another fish on. Look at those hooks. That's how you know you got one. If your hooks look like this, that means you got one. I right, fish on. Fish on. I lost it. Oh, no. Oh, I lost it. While I was dragging it, we got hit. Did you see that? Bruh. While I was dragging it. That's cr That's crazy. I'm going back there real quick. Oh, God. Ow, fuck. Hopefully, I didn't just cut myself. This is not good. Look at this. I'm going to have to retie. We just got a knot in our line out of nowhere. I can't believe that, man. Finger's good. We're all good. I didn't get cut. But we needed to retie anyway, because after you catch so many bass, the line gets weaker, your knot gets weaker. Probably for the best. It's really cloudy right now, so the video looks a little bit dark, sorry. And also I don't have my GoPro, unfortunately. But we just went back to grab our stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the Carolina rig real quick. Haven't tried it once, but I'm gonna try it a few times and then see what happens. Alrighty guys, we're currently taking shelter because it is storming on us now. This is our shelter. A fucking tree. Bruh. <laughs> Literally sitting under the tree. Hopefully this just passes. It looks like it's just gonna pass, but it's pretty bad right now. Look how bad this is. <laughs> our shelter. <laughs> currently getting worse. Thought it would clear up. It is not. We're getting drenched. Oh, now it's clearing up. Hold on. It's still raining a little bit, but it's definitely clearing up. It's done. Look at that. We survived. It's not raining anymore. All right. I think we're good to continue. As long as the dark clouds are gone. And I think the dark clouds are gone. Let's get it. 
Alrighty, again, before the rain just killed us, I'm gonna try the Carolina rig, just for fun, see if it works. Obviously, you don't need to change your bait if you know the bait you're using is working, there's no point. But let's just see if it works, for fun. Oh, wow, that was quick. We got pulled right there. Wow. Do you guys live here? Yeah, we live where yeah. our grandma moved in. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> it was a relative. We asked one of the neighbors just to say, That's official. Oh, I feel so bad. I'll fish on on the Carolina, but I think we hooked him too deep. He's bleeding a little on the side, but we got him. There he goes. Wow, the Carolina worked. I might just cut that out completely. We're gonna go back to this. The Carolina rig definitely worked. It's just, it's picking up a lot of crap. This place is loaded with gunk on the bottom and the bass just took the claws. So I'll just wait to change it out. We'll try it again, maybe. Oh, I lost my freaking rod in my hand. Fish on. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. He almost pulled the rod out of my hand. It like slipped out when I went to go rip. He's bleeding. He's fine, look. Well, turn him around. You can see inside, he just got hit right there. That's where the blood's coming from. He's not hurt, he's fine. Fish on, baby. Let's go. Another one. That's a good size. Good size, Better, bigger than the last two for sure, I think. Fish on. Let's put him back. Yo! Give him a good release here. Look at this popping perch. Look at that. Two left and one's barely holding on. This thing is a monster. Alrighty. Fish on, let's go. I'm gonna bring him in slowly so we don't lose him. <laughs> Come here, brother. Come here, brother. Look at him. Come here, brother. I don't wanna lose you. Let's go. Another one. How'd we get you, brother? Right on the top of the mouth. There it goes. He's all good. Another one. Top water, popping perch. Let's go. Why are they all flapping like this? Usually they just stand still. They're all, look. <laughs> Chill. Fish on. Let's go. Put this guy back nicely. There you go, buddy. Skirt update. <laughs> Look at this. It's down to the last one. Oh. All right, guys, so the way I'm fishing this popping perch is I'm popping it, then I'm gonna let it sit, and I'm gonna re-tighten the line by reeling a little. When I feel the line's tight again, I'm popping again, and I'm re-tightening the line. Pop again, re-tighten the line pop again and when you re-tighten the line you're letting a pause happen keep the pattern there it is fish on oh we missed that one but if you just hold that pattern pop 
reel, tighten the line, let it sit for just a sec, and then pop again. I've been doing practically the same pattern all day, and I've, I've just been getting hit nonstop. Not how I wanted to cast it, but. Try it. Ooh, 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 fish on. Come on, buddy. There's one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you did it yourself. Thank you. Fish on. Let's go. This one's definitely smaller than the last, but I mean, fish is a fish. Let's go. We're getting them. Again, I've never fished here before, and we are getting hit left and right. Put them back. All right, guys, so I showed you how to catch bass. If there's a bunch of like moss and algae buildup and stuff, you just throw the top water on top or near it and fish your top water. You should get some bites. If you don't have that algae buildup, I always like, I can grab it. I always like soft plastic and you obviously Texas rig it, especially at a place like this where there's so much gunk and you're gonna keep getting stuck. I like the Carolina rig. You don't have to do this. You can just do a normal Texas rig and it'll still work. But I think fishing with like a craw or a Senko is your move. There's a lot of gunk. Like, look at that. <sighs> gonna have to deal with this gunk over and over. That's why I like the top water in places like this because you're not dealing with any of this really. But you could still make it work for sure. And usually when you get through some of the gunk, when you feel with the weight that you're getting through some of the trash, right after is where you'll get the bite because the bass sit in that. They sit in all the, all the, what is it called? The vegetation. So right now I feel I'm in vegetation. I'm gonna let it drop a little just to make sure the craw is, oh, I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. Fish on. Oh, we missed it. <sighs> that sucks. But we definitely got bit. Look at that. And we lost a craw already. One of our arms. We almost had that one. We'll try with the single. I hate when I lose an arm. It sucks. Same thing. Just want to go slow with this. All right, looks like it's sunk to the bottom. We're gonna pop it. I probably should have waited a little longer to pull him. And now we're stuck on gunk right now. So usually right after this gunk, you're gonna get hit. If we can get through it. Ugh. That sometimes you're gonna deal with gunk that you get through, but it's not even worth finishing the cast, because look at that. Bruh. Try that again. Ooh. Is that bites already? Fish on! And that's fish in the Carolina. Just gotta go slow and pop it up. Hey, buddy. Holy. We got him right on the jaw. There it goes. Barb was just stuck in him. Fish on. And that's with the Carolina. Let's put him back. Good catch. Nice job. Here you go, buddy. Oh, are you good? <laughs> what the heck? Did you see that? Playing dead. You're good, dude. You got hooked on the cheek. That's the Carolina. Just slow and steady. Pop it, let it sink down. Pop it, let it sink down. And again, even if you didn't do a Carolina, because I know the setup kind of takes a minute to do, you can always just do a normal Texas rig. It's gonna be almost the same.
Is that fish on? Wow. That was last second. Oh, the craw is gone. He hit it right in front of me. I'm starting to reel it in and he goes for it. I can't believe that. All right. Just tied a new one on. That's so unfortunate. He got it as I was reeling it in. I wasn't even expecting him to go for it. Ugh, the back of my leg is itchy a bit. Ooh, I have fish on. Get ready, it's eating it. Fish on! Got him! I got him! It's a big one, babe. This is a good one. Get the camera on this. I can't go fast. I don't want him to fall off. Come here. I don't want him to fall off. Oh, I thought he was bigger! He's not bad. He's not bad. Got him. He's not bad. Look at What do you mean? Ah, chill, bro. Chill, bro. Ah, I got him. Let's go. This is on the Carolina. This one's on the Carolina. Let's go. Holy. That's a big boy. Fish on. Carolina. Let's put him back. There you go, sir. There he goes. Wow. That was a good catch. That was a good catch. I let him eat that a little bit and then I yanked it on him. Oh, I'm getting bites. Fish on! Let's go! Not a big one, but that's fish on. Holy! Got him in the cheek again. There it goes. Fish on the Carolina. Let's go. Oh, I almost fell. Another small bass. Definitely the one before was way bigger, but hey, another nice bass. Let's go. On the Carolina, baby. Holy. Let's put him back. There he goes. It looks like it might start raining again. So we're gonna try to wrap this up a little bit. Let's get a few more catches on the pop and perch. And then we'll call it here. Got another one on the pop and perch. It's about to rain, so we're probably going to call it here. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time. All my life I've been over the top. I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is
I don't want 